stand back and wait. You just watch his head. Mm -hmm. ah. hmm. Just want some personal space. Maybe he feels I'm a bit afraid. Hmm. You like me? You like my red robes? <laughs> I, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is it the red? <laughs> or maybe. Uh, or is that really just a wives' tale? Yeah, I think they're colorblind. Yeah. So it's just more the, mm -hmm. I'm to chase. Oh, my name, Yeah, don't get many visitors. That's okay. You're beautiful. Thank you for this moment. So yeah, so that's the cows. And then they wander around the back there and we have difficulty finding food. Because cows, cows need grass and cows need hay. But here we can only get, this is rice straw. So straw is a lower nutritional content. So it's not as good as hay. But, you know, there's rice everywhere here and that's what you get. Um, they get vegetables from the kitchen, which again is not good for them. But they've so far survived and it's been fine. Because cows have four stomachs and they're ruminants and, you know, so they have to constantly eat. And to give them a lot of vegetables and stuff, they get bloat, which we do them all a bar. But, so far the way. We wanted to plant grass down there, but it's such a thing. Every time I come out the month to plant a tree, someone's got a bright idea to plant like, no, we need sunshine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and pine trees are difficult to bring up there. Thank you so much. Thank you for your. So if you're ever here, you can come down and say mantras or prayers. Mm -hmm. They are generally let out around in summer early in the morning. Or like now, it's a bit cloudy, But then they disappear over there and they don't come into that portal. Are you okay with me touching you? Are you okay? We do sometimes have to tie them to the fence if we have to do something to their feet because they do get foot problems. Um, but I brought over this very, very soft, strong cattle rope from Australia, which we like to use because it's softer on them. Um, and that's why we encourage them being handled, like padded and stuff. So when we do have to do stuff, yeah. it's not difficult. Like it's not rocket science. Like it's pretty simple to understand. But it's a new concept here. And same with the goats. Like we, we have to cut their hooves every six weeks, but when we're not here, it doesn't happen that often. Um, 
But if you don't handle them, then they'll be fighting against you. You've got a sharp implement from the cut, which can cause damage to them and to you. Um, but yeah, they're pretty okay, and so far they've been, um, their feet are okay other than being lame. And you are veterinarian? I'm an ecologist and a vet nurse, so I work um, for the New South Wales government in Australia as an ecologist, but I also work, um, my friend and I run have a wildlife hospital in Australia, so on my days off I would do that, because in Australia wildlife is pretty neglected, like farms, and most people, vets would just kill them. Oh, it's too difficult, they've got a fracture and have to kill them, which isn't true. But here it's the opposite, they won't kill them, but then they won't do anything. Just in Australia, so they will do something. Here, wildlife, so kangaroos, possums, ah, koalas. Like okay. yeah. um, but in Australia, they're oh, quite wow. popular, but people will just kill them. Mm -hmm. Vets will kill them. They won't treat them. So, you know, we yeah. have to do that. Work. So, um, yeah, so I don't really do farm animals mm -hmm. at home. I do wildlife. Um, but here, it's farm animals. Uh, one of us tries to be here at least twice a year for a couple of months or a month or whatever. Um, because if we're not, things. Yeah. And we haven't been here for a while because of the COVID situation. And I was supposed to come last year, but then I had a first year. So that got delayed. But, 